Uh, moving forward to the marketing department, I want to acknowledge the uh, department head, Karen Macklight, over here on the left, or on the right, for, depending on your perspective, back to Suzanne's point. Uh, fantastic things happening in the marketing department as well, and want to introduce uh, another uh, new colleague who joined us here in the fall, Jorge Peña Marin, uh, assistant professor of marketing. He did his PhD at the University of Texas at San Antonio, research focusing on understanding how numerical information influences different consumer judgments, and the one faculty member who was able to get four slides in their presentation. Jorge, please join us. Thank you. Come on, give them a wild welcome. Thank you. So thank you very much for having me today. Uh, so as uh, Dan was saying, I basically study how different features of the numbers may influence our judgments. And today I'm going to present a research about negotiations and the influence of a uh, characteristic uh, of the number, which is if it's a round number or a precise number. And a round number will be a um, number that has ending zeros. In this case, we have $20,000. It will be a very round number. A more precise number will be, in this case, 199067. It doesn't have any ending zero. So um, I look at these uh, characteristics you know, uh, among different situations today, as I said, we're going to talk about negotiations, and we always need to set up an initial price. And the question is, which price should we set if we want to sell our car or our house if we want to have an eventually higher uh, final transaction price? And what we tend to find is that when it comes to negotiations and the amount of the adjustment over an offer, adjustments are smaller over precise prices. The reason for this is that A, people tend to think that we've thought more about the price, we've done more research, because otherwise, why would it be that we are setting up uh, a precise price? There is no reason for that. Round prices are, tend to be more approximation. So if we see a precise price, we think, oh, this person has thought a lot about it. And therefore, we adjust less, we negotiate less over that price. The second reason is because even though we may want to negotiate, a precise price triggers a more finer mental scale. And instead of negoti negotiating, let's say, over $1,000, we start to negoti negotiate over hundreds of dollars. And even though we may negotiate because the scale is smaller, we end up negotiating you know, a smaller amount. So that's one side of the, of the coin. So, if you ever want to negotiate, I will highly suggest you set up an initial precise price. Now, but what about when we want to close the deal? What about when the, the goal that we have now is to close the deal? Now, in this situation, would it be better to offer a precise price or a round price? So what we find is, in this case, when, when the goal salient is to finish the negotiation, round prices are more likely to be accepted. And the reason for this is because we tend to set up goals with round numbers. Uh, for instance, when we go to the gym and we, we go to the treadmill, we don't say we want to run 19 minutes and 32 seconds. We usually say 20, 20 minutes. And in, you know, there are many situations where we set up goals with round numbers and we reach them, we stop, we feel that we've completed the, the goal. That association it's linked to the round numbers and translate to many other situations such as negotiations. Therefore, we find that if you want to uh, set up, uh, you want to close the deal at that point, you will want to uh, offer the round number. And just very briefly, uh, this is an kind of uh, one of the studies that we used. Uh, this is probably the, the, the one of the simplest one, we told our participants, imagine that you are neg uh, negotiating with a vendor uh, for coffee, and after some bargaining, uh, the vendor offers you uh, these prices. This is a condition where some participants saw uh, the 997, all the participants saw the $10, and the other the 10.03, and uh, you are gonna see the percentage of participants that accepted the deal, this is for 10, this is for 9, and the $10, they were a lot more likely to accept the deal. So, uh, as I said, if you, for initial prices, precise prices, when you want to close the deal, round prices. And that's it. <laughs> 